as Shaq would say, my boy Shaq, right here, styling low profiling. All you jealous punks can't stop my donks. Action. Action. Come on. A ladder. Ladder. Action. Better. Welcome. My name is Bo Armandaris, aka the Vino Golf Pro. Today we're gonna find out if this sexy beast brings the thunder. Is it an Australian wine that's big and bold and massive and just powerful like my boy Shaquille O'Neal? I brought out the cards today because it's a big, it's a big weekend. We've got uh, the, yeah, we got the uh, MJ premiere this weekend, the, the Michael Jordan Last Dance, for those of you who, uh, who don't know. It's a big documentary about uh, Michael Jordan's last year with the Bulls, or their last title run. So I'm excited about that. So I'm kind of in a basketball mode tonight. And I really want to know if this Australian wine brings the thunder. Um, one thing about Australia, it is a new world wine, okay? Australia is more of a new world, it's a new world um, wine style, meaning the, the wines are big, they're bold, and, they, and there's a lot of uh, wine drinkers out there that haven't quite, um, they don't appreciate the style, um, so to speak. More of them are more Bordeaux, uh, like that, uh, more of that traditional elegant and tannic winemaking style, while the Australia really is more about the, the bigness and the roundness and the overripeness of the fruits. Um, now, there are some wines from Australia that do have good structure and, and, and do use traditional winemaking methods, but for the most part, when you get an Australian wine, you're going for the fruit, you're going for the candy, you're going for hedonistic pleasure. So, we're gonna find out the sexy beast actually compares to our boy Shaq. So today we're gonna to be trying the 2016 Two Hands Sexy Beast Cabernet. Um, Two Hands is a great, is a great winery. I've had uh, much of the, a lot of their stuff in the past. Australia was popping. It was popping back in the mid 2000s. And that's when I just first discovered Australian, uh, Australian wine, mainly Shirazes. They're known for their big, bold Shirazes. But Two Hands is a wonderful winery that's been, um, that's a very well known, you can pick this up at your local liquor store. Um, the Sexy Beast Cabernet, 100% Cabernet. It's aged probably 10 to 12 months in oak. Uh, of that oak, it's about uh, 10 to 15% new oak. So, um, excited to see what uh, Australia has to bring in this wine. 2014, excuse me, 2014 Sexy Beast. Now, if you were to ask Shaq, he would probably say he's a sexy beast. All right. Got the Shack Flair 9596 of the of the um, Flair Metal series, and then here's a nice Shack Flair Gold in the Flair 90. I think this is 96, 97, and then one of my favorites is this Upper Deck is Shaq and he's in a car and he's got this car phone and it has like a, it has the old, it's, it's an old school car phone. It's just like, it has the cord and he's got you know, this, this big old phone like this, but he's cool and, and the uh, the title of the card is Style and Low Profiling. And for all you, uh, you know, 90s hip hop culture people, you know what I'm talking about, Style and Low Profiling. So um, yeah, those are some of my favorite, uh, favorite cards from back in the day. My boy Shaq. All right, let's check it out. Color-wise, it's fairly dark. Uh, I actually expected it to be a little darker because most Australian, um, this style, the two hands, is usually produces a lot darker style, a lot blacker. Um, but actually, there's a little bit more magenta in this uh, in, in the color than I expected. So it is a very very dark color. Don't get me wrong, but it it isn't as dark as some of your Shiraz bombs out there. So. Um, color wise, great color, always great color coming out of Australia. 
Um, but it, it does have a little red to it, so that's uh, that's interesting. Let's give it a let's give it a sniff. Mm, okay, this is a pleasure bomb. Okay, it's very it has a very fragrant nose. Um, lots of uh, uh, it's very it's floral because of the, uh, the the time spent in the oak. It does give it that that floral characteristic, the vanilla, uh, so to speak. But it it uh, it has a lot of fruit on the nose, just a lot of like dark ripe ripe fruit, like ripe plum, black plum, dark black ripened cherries, almost almost stewed cherries. Like if you're making a, a cherry pie, a black cherry pie, um, has just this really fragrant fruity nose with a little bit of underlying tone of, of, of the vanilla and the oak coming through. It also, one of the things about uh, Australian Cabernet, because uh, you know most of the wine that we drink from Australia is usually a Shiraz or Syrah, um, the Australian Cabernet has a ten tendency to have a, a eucalyptus, a mintiness to it that's pretty interesting. I'm getting a little bit on the nose on this one as well. So. Otherwise, beautiful bouquet. Let's give it a whirl. And for those of you who don't know, I don't do no spit bucket because homie don't play that. I don't like to waste wine. One more time. All right, this wine just immediately attacks you on the front, on the palate. Little gobs of fruit, the fruit's just all right here on the front part of my tongue. It's all right here, it's sweet. It's definitely made in that, in that Australian fruit style. Um, Australian wines can be a little bit what's called over extracted, which means that they can be a little bit too jammy a little bit too much fruit and sweetness and concentrated. I am getting a little bit of that on this wine, um, but overall, it's a pleasurable. It's a pleasurable fruit. Big black fruits like black currant, black berry, black cherry. Just it's like a fruit explosion in your mouth. Um, as it goes back into the mid palate and towards the back of my my tongue, my palate, it. It kind of loses me a little bit, actually, just a little bit. Um, the tannins are there. It has a really good tannin structure. Um, uh, this wine has really good tannin structure, actually. I, I, the tannins are still. I can taste the tannins in my mouth right now. Um, but as as far as like the total overall experience, it just it's very fruit forward. Um, it doesn't quite it doesn't quite hit all areas of the palate like a a, a, a very nice and structured totally structured wine and do. That's not saying it's bad at all. It's just a different style. I mean, for those who like big fruit explosions, fruit bombs, this is a this is a good style, but I actually believe that this is actually a little bit more structured than you would than, than some of the Australian Shirazes out there. So nothing against the, the lack of structure in this wine. It just has a little bit more structure than some of the Shirazes in my opinion. So I, I, I like this wine. Um, I like the style of it, uh, you know, because I, I did drink a lot of that style before. And it just lacks a little bit of the structure for those looking for that a little bit more of a structured wine. And there's nothing wrong with that. This is a pleasurable wine. It's going to have a little bit, um, a little bit of uh, brininess to it. This the Cabernet and, and the and the aging adds a little bit of this like um, cedar. Kind of a cedar dry, you know, if you're chewing on some bark or wood, you know, you're getting a little bit of, of that on the back end. So it, it is interesting in, in that aspect. But I will have to say, as Shaq, actually, as Shaq would say, my boy Shaq, right here, styling low profiling. All you jealous punks can't stop my donks. That's an old lyric from one of his songs. And what that means is, like, is that Shaq would crush this wine every day. Like he would actually be like slamming over looking down at this wine. Because this wine doesn't really, is not the, the powerhouse that Shaq is. However, 
I am gonna give this wine 89 points. This is a good wine. This is solid. This is more of a Javel McGee than a Shaquille O'Neal. This is a solid wine. It's a good sixth man off the bench. Someone you can count on for a few minutes, but it's not someone you're gonna to wanna to play the whole game. Let's get that straight. It's not someone you're gonna play the whole game. You're gonna get tired of, of this play for 48 minutes. So, um, yeah. The Sexy Beast is sexy. It's over the top a little bit. It has a little bit of character to it. Um, and for those who like this style, hey, that, uh, I definitely recommend it. For you Bordeaux drinkers out there, I'd play Shaq for 48 minutes. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, Sexy Beast wine review. And love you guys, and we'll see you on the flip side. Peace.